We welcome you inside Thompson Bowling Arena in Knoxville, Tennessee, where the undefeated of the nationally ranked volunteers take on in-state rival Chattanooga. The Mox coming in at three and two. Chattanooga Mox, he said, this Tennessee team can be just as good as last year's Tennessee team. A very difficult statement that he made. Rod Johnson with a little jump hook shot for the first points of the night. Elite eight, he's looking for Matt Ryan to be a leader here tonight on the road. Turner finds Bowden on a three. Woo! And that man continues to be flammable. 57% from downtown coming in, and he knocks down one here. A chemistry this year. A lot of production from a year ago. Great take. That's some of the nifty ball handling by David Jean Baptiste. Talk about what Tennessee lost. Jordan Bone, very productive point guard. Mm -hmm. Of course. As you see, Bowden hit another jumper. Fewer than 14. Yes, yes. I, I'm as optimistic as anybody. I, I try to add a little bit of reality there since Turner knocks down a three-pointer. That's a good sign when Lamonte Turner is hitting shots from outside. We know he can pass. Yeah. Should say, enjoying retirement. Pretty good guy to learn from during his time as an assistant player. Well, you can see that in the way that they play with a lot of heart and character. Ponds faces up on Ryan. Wheels, deals, and finger rolls it in. Pretty move. That's your offense because the best shots, I think, are taken if the ball goes inside and out. Shot clock at five. Baseline jumper is true for the freshman, Josiah Jordan James. Baseline shot. Return to center. It's center, I should say. E. Ponds. <laughs> See, 2.8 blocks, he has another one here. Well, I can't. Four. Different player in this is junior campaign. Look at that. Nice shot there by James, the freshman from Charleston. Guy's been pretty quiet. Jean Baptiste needs to heat up. That's not going to do it. Shot rejected. Buffalo, New York. His teammates gave him the nickname Big Ticket in high school. He recorded, listen to this, lighten it up. The Commodores as well. Absolutely. He's a pro as well as Scotty Lewis, a freshman that I forgot to mention a while ago for Florida. I'm anxious to see how those teams continue to improve possession with the rebound. Unfortunately for them, they're getting out rebounded by plus 11 right now. They have to do better. Lamonte Turner. Take their shot as quickly. They're still learning how to do that. Three to shoot. And <laughs> off the window and in. Maurice Commander, the sophomore from Chicago. For that basket. Steal by the freshman Pember, and then Turner lost it. And now Ryan ahead of the pack. Beautiful. Gliding with the left hand, banks it home. He's got seven, and all of a sudden Chattanooga has made it a six-point game. But the defender couldn't get in front of him. Outstanding job by Matt Ryan. Bowden, pretty move off the curl, mid-range pull-up. Compared to what they look like right now, just different players. He's a testament to being patient, right? Mm -hmm. uh, those guys, there's so many guys that like. Here's that situation you're talking about. They become a perimeter team, which is okay when Bowden's hitting everything. So efficient on the offensive end, continue to get multiple stops until they get hot defensively, and then all of a sudden, it's an eight, nine, ten point lead. Quick shot off the glass by Olivier Akamwa. Kamwa, native of Cameroon. Right now, he's having a very good half. He's only got four. Final 90 seconds of the first half, and there's a three ball knocked down by Kamwa. And Baptiste all the way, rejected another force, and that's how the half comes to an end in that first half. Shot clock down to seven. Inside it goes. Nice job. Great feed and the bucket on the other end by Villa. Across the country this year, could we have another one brewing here in Knoxville, Tennessee? Ryan goes one on one and knocks it down. Nothing but net. He's got nine. And relishing in the leadership role, both vocally and leading by example with his actions. Fulkerson down low, the hoop and the harm. Wherever he's shooting from, that's where you have to put your hand up, right? <laughs> This is what I want to see. Can focus and score inside? Yes, he can, big fella. Nine points per shot. 
That's pretty efficient. Take it. Inside. Block, but they're going to count it. Goal 10 called on Pons. Sharp right now. Turner wheels, deals, and gets the bucket. Has to go get the basket itself. 2018 SEC Sixth Man of the Year, and there is Gene Baptiste with a bucket. Wide open three. Knocked down. That's the first time we've called Jonathan Scott's name. Scott. Sets up Johnson on a three. Rod Johnson pulls the trigger. He can improve upon. And the pace of Lamonte Turner uh, really dictates that. It's when they can get a little bit more in transition. How about Fulkerson? Much more aggressive here in this second half. He's got 10. Shot clock at three. And a friendly bounce for Caldwell. Gene Baptiste, aggressive. And it's been kind of quiet tonight. McDonald's All-American, immense talent. There's a three knocked down by Turner. And the lead swells to 14, and now Fulkerson on the alley-oop. Around and down for his 14th point of the night. Outstanding execution, Justin Brown turned his head just for a split second, which allowed that tremendous pass by Lamonte Turner. Scott with a silencer, a three, and a quick timeout. Look at Kentucky, and Coach Cal talks about the fact that they didn't know Tyler Hero was going to be as good as he was going to be last year. I think there's some freshmen in this conference that are going to Fulkerson with a block. Drove to Nashville. Matt Ryan noticed Coach Paris didn't eat a single thing. He just sat there and talked the whole three hours. Caldwell, catch and fire three, knocks it down. They do not beat themselves. Tough shot that time by Jonathan Scott, who's got eight. With this volunteer team in their next game. Turner and Bowden, we highlighted them at the top. They both put together double-doubles tonight and are out to a victory. 58-46 the final score. Tennessee remains undefeated now at 5-0 on the season.